Here's the thing, I was originally only going to do black and white outfits for this series because do I need to explain it? That it's obvious. However, Enid is my heart, my soul, my beloved. I love her to death and I absolutely loved her outfit that she was wearing when she got stood up. So I was attempting to match Enid's look. I don't have a colorful blouse, so I went with my black and white blouse, which at least kind of pulls in Wednesday. So this is like Wednesday and Enid's outfit together. Anyways, let's do it. He was accused of a murder that took place right up there. You've been accused of murder like three times already. That's nothing. Seems like he won the fencing match. What's the problem? Seeing you in handcuffs, accused of murder. I've never loved you more. I'm sorry, I have to be honest. If he actually murdered the person, you wouldn't know about it. And the reason he's in the hospital. That is not your fault, okay? I love Enid. Wouldn't miss this for the world. I guess you misjudged her. Why does she look terrified? Are y'all okay? Oh my god, no. What's the family trauma there? That's not good. Um, not to side with Wednesday, but... But um, to side with Wednesday. You got a lot on my plate do, right now, do, bud. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 You got the results already? You know Reggie, the local coroner? Yeah. He just blew his brains out. Am I shocked? No. That is no way to talk about your stepfather. Oh, Bianca. He wants you to come home. Bianca's having the time of her life at this school, making a life for herself. I finally make something of myself and you want to destroy it. You haven't made squat, Bianca. You're just scamming a higher class of people, but they're not your friends. She has friends. A siren can never change her scales. She literally has friends, though, with other sirens who love and accept and support her. Oh, please don't. I'm rooting for Bianca. I harvested hive number three. The bees miss you, Eugene. And they say she struggles with her emotions. Look at her. She cares about him. Eugene's moms, Sue and Janet. Oh. Hi, Sue and Janet. We talk about lately. I'm oh. so happy you joined the Hummers. Eugene loves those dang bees like they're his kids. His fuzzy, fuzzy babies. Oh no, I'm heartbroken. She keeps showing people that she does actually care about them. Like she told Enid if Ajax broke her heart, she would nail gun him. She brought him honey. She cares about Pugsley. Look at that. Y'all, she does care. She just shows it in different ways. He felt guilty about an old case. He says he covered it up, faked the coroner's report, and has been living with that guilt for all these years. That seems so fake. Um, those pancakes look amazing. Have you wolfed out yet? No. She didn't lie. Well, that is a disappointment. That's me. Oh, huge disappointment. You're not disappointing me, Enid. You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. Do the right to remain silent? Look, if he murdered somebody, y'all would not know about it. Your mother and I stepped out to catch our breath. <laughs> yes, catch the breath. Garrett, no! You're gonna really come at the fencing champions with a sword? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, there you go. You've just given him his strongest weapon. Oh, he did murder him. Wow, that's so less cool. You are the reason I understand how imperative it is that I never lose sight of myself. Oh, that's so good. So as far as fatherhood goes, I would say you've been more than adequate. 10 out of 10 right there. That said, I love you more than anything else could have. His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave. Oh, and dear. His little sister didn't escape. She was orphaned, sent overseas. So. Ended up drowning. It sounds like they're cursed. Have we considered that? You want to send me to conversion therapy for werewolves? It worked wonders for your cousin Lucille, didn't it? Oh, jeez. Don't you want to wolf out and finally be normal, honey? Oh, well, that's not great. I always thought I'd be the first one in the family behind bars. Lurch and I had a bet going. <laughs> Pugsley. It's quite a catch. Well, that speeds up the process considerably. If anyone can figure out who really committed the crime, it's you. I feel like the principal, it's gotta be the principal. If it's not the principal at this point, I'm gonna be shocked. Why would you send me somewhere where I could only ever exist in your shadow? Damn. It's not a competition. 
You thrive in the shadows, though. Y'all, I guess they didn't really have a chance to hide the body. It was only when I heard the scream that I realized what I'd done. You didn't really do it, you just held it, and he did it. You said Garrett was foaming at the mouth. His eyes didn't look human. Oh, maybe he was poisoned. Guess it's gonna be an Adams Family reunion in lockup tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Neither one of you are strong enough to serve hard time. I disagree. Garrett was dying. Before you stabbed him. Technically, he stabbed himself. Like, if you're just holding the sword. He ran into my sword ten times, meme. You know, that's... Kill all those outcasts. Sneak into that dance and spike the punch bowl. Oh my god, that's awful. You know what's crazy? They literally just broke into the school an episode ago to do that whole, like, blood rave fake-out situation. They could have put poison in that. It's not that hard to break into this school, which it feels like it should be harder. Because back when you were sheriff, you were in charge of the case and covered it up. Mm. Garrett went there that night to spike the punch. Yeah, with poison. Kill all the kids at that dance. Yeah, that's horrible. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. Look at that, y'all are a good team. When did your visions begin? Finally, finally we get to talk about it. My visions tend to be positive. That makes me a dove. And for someone like me, <laughs> who sees the world through a darker lens? Well. You're a raven. Oh, a dove and a raven. But he was a witch of great strength. But her vengeance pushed her too far, and even she couldn't save herself. To be fair, to be fair, she did watch an entire group of people get burned alive and murdered. So I can see where, you know, maybe she'd be feeling a little vengeful. Look at them, one big happy family. You'll need to pick which activities. No, I don't. There because you go, I'm Enid. I'm not going. Not this summer, not ever. If I'm into Wolf Out, then I'm going to do it on my own timeline. Yes, and not Enid, yours. you got this. I believe in you. I just hope that one day you'll finally be able to accept me for who I am. She has such a belief in herself. It's admirable, especially given this environment she grew up in. I'm proud of you, kiddo. Oh, the only thing he said this whole you time. You do you. You do you. I love her. I'm very nervous for Bianca. But after this, you and Morning Song are out of my life. Forever. I'm so worried for her. Let her finish her school year. I'm only a crystal ball away. That's cute. Thank you. Mother. That's cute. You have a support system, Wednesday. Not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, you became her. You're a shapeshifter. Yay, she put it together. You ripped out the wrong page of the yearbook, ma'am. I'm curious to find out how Sheriff Galpin feels when I tell him. Don't drop all your cards on the table like that. She's gonna murder you. Tell that to Eugene. How are you protecting him? Yeah, Eugene is a true innocent here. Ma'am, it's incredibly easy to break into your school. Oh, wow. Uh... That's not great. Okay, we got Wednesday confronting the principal. So now I'm leaning towards the fact that the principal maybe isn't the monster. Well then, shoot, I'm back to the beginning in terms of trying to figure out who the monster is. Who is it? I mean, it could still be the principal, but the fact that they like revealed Wednesday figuring out that she's a shapeshifter only in episode five makes me feel like maybe she's not the shapeshifting into a monster. It can't be the sheriff. He's trying to solve the murder. Would Tyler know? Tyler's old friends, that whole group, suspicious. That's suspicious. Also, y'all have got to get better defenses. Your school is so easy to break into. All right, here's the thing. The hat is for Enid, the lipstick is for Enid, and the black and white is for Wednesday. I feel like this lipstick is also the I Need Vampire Fangs lipstick, so perhaps it's also representing the vampires at this school. Oh, all right, let's do a seance. I was reaching into the Black Maw death to contact a relative. Feels very on brand for you. <laughs> Not Enid coming in here with the it's on brand for you. I'm so sorry, I love her. <laughs> Claws out. She's ready. I insisted on coming along. As she I should. My own. No, she. Look, it's the adventure of it all. Also, I'm never gonna complain about more Enid in this story. Ew. What died? Joseph died. Second thoughts. Why don't I just stay out here? You don't want to stay out here. There's a monster out here. Kinoza, look out. No, come on, Enid. I would not want to be outside. Try anything and you'll lose limbs. Surprise! Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh my god, wait, that's so cute. Happy Enid, she has a whole cake. Thing is a hat. You. Oh my god, I love this. And 
it's a fully black cake with the Grim Reaper on it. They know what she likes. This is the cutest thing ever. What part of no party under the penalty of death do you not understand? Oh, boo. I thought it's my fun. cake design was pretty inspired. I think so too, Xavier. They literally threw you a party in the crypt of a dead dude. They know what you love. We're never eating that cake, are we? <laughs> He's me. I am him. He is me. Well, now they all definitely know about your visions, if they didn't before. You end up alone, unable to trust others. Oh. Only seeing the darkness within them. Oh. Is that supposed to scare me? That's really sad. Can I at least get some kudos for pulling one over on you? Yes, because that was good. Wow, we're still accepting presents. She wrapped it in black paper. It's a snood, silly. I What's made it a in your snood? signature colors. And you want to know what the best part is? I have one too. Oh, that's so nice. All fingers would point to one of your own students. Careful, Noble. I'm not convinced the fingers don't point to her still. You still think I'm the monster? haven't ruled it out. I don't think Xavier yeah, well, is the you monster. you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. I'm like, not convinced of who it is, but I'm fairly confident it's not Xavier. Who's Goody? Mm, 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 mm. I do not trust this therapist. Now I'm wondering if I should be putting the therapist on the suspect list. Wait, that's really cute. Yeah, I went with a 98% dark chocolate ganache, knowing your preferred color palette. They all love her. They love her. Every day is all about me. This one just comes with cake and a bad song. Yes, but the cake is good, you know? If I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? You're allowed to have people close to you. Okay, did, did I do something? No, she's just I feel like literally- I even, you've kind of been ghosting me. <sighs> she's trying to ghost everybody because she doesn't think she can have anyone close to her, but she's wrong. She's gonna get through this stronger with a found family and her family. Damn, that one wasn't a vision. That was just your muse. Okay, listen. I know I didn't ask for you to be my muse, but it was an accident. Okay, that is the coolest freaking thing ever. I can tell how you get lost in the music. I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. Look at this, these people love you. You definitely do not have to do this whole thing alone. You have a support system and you're allowed to let them in. Take your advice. Oh, good for you. She's freeing people from the cult. Most people think I'll never amount to anything. And while we're being honest, I haven't done much to make them think differently. Okay, you're only in high school. You got some time. I realized I needed to wipe the board, you know, start over. That makes any sense. You got this, dude. You got this. You got your whole future ahead of you still. They're gonna get through this thing together. Listen, I might have figured out who's behind all of this. It's a long shot, so I'm gonna have to lay it out for you. We'll do it over pie at the weather vane. Not them solving this whole murder thing like over pie at the weather vane. <gasps> what? Well, convenient timing that was. Oh my god. You could have been seriously hurt, or worse. Expelled. Sorry. Mary Shelley wrote it on a dare when she was only 19. I'm sure she's read it. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. Don't break house mom's heart. I don't need your help or your pity. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture, even for me. Girl, you are taking what Goody said to heart, and it's killing me, because you don't have to do this alone. Steer clear of Wednesday, Adam. She's kind of girl's gonna get you hurt. Leave yeah. The type. Heartbroken, life broken. Did you ever even love her? Damn. <laughs> He's coming out with the hard hitting questions. More than you could ever know. Was your mom Laurel Gates? Are they related to the Gates family? Something there is up. We should wear our snoods. You have to do it, Wednesday. You left yours at the weather vane. Luckily, Bianca brought it back. It's like a monkey's paw. Wednesday, you have to wear it. It's your lucky snood. I have never heard of a snood in my life. What's up with the weird matching hoodie scarf things? Don't ask. They're cute. Do you want one, Tyler? Okay, this isn't what I signed on for. Did I? <laughs> well, you can't rope them into breaking and entering. And you should've just said Oh so. my god. You didn't have to trick us. I love how Tyler's like, I would've come. I'm down to join the breaking and entering party. I would just like to consent to it. Oh. She's got that werewolf strength. Oh, would you look at that? This is the car that hit the mayor. Are we shocked? Are we surprised? No. This is the night I'm gonna die. Tyler, you don't wanna like say that type of thing out loud. That 
can very easily be misconstrued as foreshadowing. I hope it's not. I really hope Tyler's not gonna die. I kind of put him in the like Harvey position. They're all long gone. So the question is, why did Goody lead me here? Uh, maybe they're not all long gone. Terrifying. You go left, I go right. You seriously want to split up? I'm with Enid, don't split up. The faster we search, the sooner you can leave. I but we trust her instincts. Oh. I know what my mom would say. You're a doormat. You're too needy. Show some teeth. Nobody likes a desperate little furball. Shut up, mom, get out of my head. Well, that's so horrible. I happen to already love you, Enid, as you are. So your mom doesn't know what's up. Oh, shit. Those are the flowers the therapist left, LG. aren't they? <laughs> All right, Laurel Gates is the monster. Is the therapist Laurel Gates? Y'all just left Tyler. Did Tyler run out the other way? Not your smooth. Well, this is so creepy. This is so creepy. Are they trying to like Frankenstein a creature down here? House mom. Where the hell is Tyler? You okay? Since when do you care? Oh, Enid. We have to go back for Tyler. The monster's That's back fair. There. Yeah, so is Tyler. Oh shit, did he get slashed? Where'd you come from? Oh, of course Xavier's here. They're gonna think it's Xavier. It's not Xavier. I promise you it's not Xavier. Not to make this about me, but I am having a full blown panic attack right now. It's okay, Enid. Breathe in, breathe out. Sheriff, I understand you're upset, but I think you need to see something. Let me guess, all the evidence is removed because you gave the monster a head start. And you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case, understood? I mean, I don't think that's ever stopped her, ever. Tonight was just the icing on the birthday cake you couldn't even be bothered to cut. You will use anyone to get what it. you want, even if it means putting them in danger. She's not wrong. Always put myself out there, thought of your feelings. Told Made people, you a snood? I know she gives off serial killer vibes, but she's really just shy. I never asked you to do that. You didn't have to because that's what friends do. Oh. You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. Well, now I'm heartbroken. Dang it. The life just left the room. She's not totally wrong, though. God. Could he warn that I was destined to be alone? Well, to be fair, you've been... Maybe it's inevitable. Well, you've been lone wolfing yourself, Wednesday. Okay, it's definitely watching you. That's terrifying. I love how that one, the exposure is like way higher. Oh, that's terrifying. The monster saved her life originally, which is odd. And when Mayor Walker got too close to the truth, he was silent. <gasps> No! Dude! The mayor must have really known. To whoever's watching me, know this. They threatened you, you threatened them right back. You. There's so many threads. There's so many threads. They keep throwing Xavier in there like he's there at the right time to be suspicious to be the monster, but it's not. It's not Xavier. I'm convinced it's not Xavier. I'm also really sad about Enid because. I mean, she has been trying so hard this whole time to connect to Wednesday, and like, Wednesday's been pushing her off. It's just sad. Enid's been trying her best. Enid just wants a friend. Wednesday, you don't have to do this alone, even if that's what Goody says. And Goody even said it's not good to be alone. So I vote we trust her. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Ah! I can't believe we're on the last two episodes. What if We're just going through all of the suspicious parties. Yes, this is my suspects list, thank you. Oh god. I'm sorry about these guys though. I love how it's the second you leave the funeral, the rain turns off. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Hello! Wait! You've actually made a friend. That poor kid will be going home in a body bag. Oh, 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 let's not say that. That's a little too close to the truth at this point. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. Mm -hmm. That means do not eat them. She's gonna protect them for Eugene. I love her. You remind me of your mother. Oh, God. Bringing it back to episode one. It's called a hide. Oh. Leave the bees alone. <laughs> She cares about Eugene as a friend. If Laurel Gates died 20 years ago, then who was sleeping in her bedroom? Uh, definitely Laurel Gates. You giggle when you text, which is a 24-7 addiction. Well, at least it's not a migraine-inducing typewriter hammering into my head. Oh my god, it's a fight! Oh. I take that over your obsession with all things creepy and dead. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spritz. 
That's just off the top of my head. So what I'm getting from this is that y'all know a lot about each other and you take notice of the things that interest each other. I'm just saying. She's begging me to be her new roomie, permanently. Don't let me hold you back. Oh my god. Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. Y'all, don't do this to us. Don't do that to us. I know you guys just want to actually be friends. Every time the monster is attacked, you have been right there. It is true. However, I truly think he just is concerned for you. I, I really trust Xavier. I don't know why. It is a gut instinct. It might come back to bite me in the ass, but I trust Xavier. Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. What's to like? Ah, y'all! It wasn't my fault! Oh, you said you could crack that safe in 30 seconds! Five minutes later, we were still standing there! You're all fucked! Enough! Thing, there haven't been any petties up at Enid's. I would just go join that party. And behind Iggy It. Iggy It? Is that Cousin It? This is turning into a replay of Kalamazoo. Fester sounds like he's on a video game, and it's just taunting you. Enid has requested to room with Yoko for the rest of the school year. No, not the whole year! Deflect all you want, but you and I both know that you care about Enid. Yeah. And you have to admit, she managed to bring out a spark of warmth in you. House mom, can you come and get them to apologize to each other? All right, house mom. She's still on the suspects list, though. That would have been a foreshadowing cut from I'm looking for the monster and the master to her. The monster and its master. It could be a foreshadowing cut. Being a solo lobo has its perks. You get to live by your own rules, do whatever you want. Just look at me. She's better off with Enid and her friend group. I just want to see her happy. I know what you are, Xavier. Can you stay the hell away from me? I really don't think it's Xavier. Am I wrong? I picked it up on my way out of town. You know me. I like to travel incognito. Right, that's not really incognito. <laughs> She's looking like this is crueler than Cruella trying to get me onto this thing. Oh, now that's suspicious. Okay, if your therapist asks you to meet up in the middle of the woods, there is an element of suspicion there. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Need a refill on this puppy, too. <laughs> He's like, Tyler, what the heck? I don't miss her. Friends are a liability and can be exploited. Oh, that makes some weaknesses. God. I love how Enid bonded with Thing. The last time somebody threw a surprise for me here, it did not go as planned. I guarantee you this one won't make you pass oh out. Oh my cold. god, please do not tell me we're doing a Mary Shelley situation on the grave. You can open your eyes now. Oh my god! It's a romantic date in a freaking crypt. Girl, you have people who really know you. This is the cutest thing ever. How do you feel about scary movies? Look at. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. This is the best thing ever. I don't even really ship them, but this is so good. <laughs> Her favorite horror movie, and he framed it in a way where she can't say no. It's a horror movie. This is so cute. Yeah, there's definitely a suspect's bike. Looks as weird as he does. Is your suspect Cruella DeVille? Okay, that's the question. He stole Cruella DeVille's bike. We're all thinking it. I'm not friend material, let alone more than friend material. I will ignore you, stomp on your heart, and always put my needs and interests first. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. I don't know if she's truly trying to push you away. I mean, she is trying to push you away, but she also really believes that about herself. Oh, well, that's awkward. That is what so the hell? awkward. Tyler, what are you doing here? They're having a romantic night. A romantic night in a crypt. Let them be. I'm not gonna even ask what this is. <laughs> I never saw the two of you here. This dad has given up. I mean, like, I know they have their own issues, but this dad has truly just given up on them, which is sad in its own way. Oh, sh shit. Thing. Oh, that's not good. Are you kidding? Can Thing die? No. Have we tried a Band-Aid? Ah! I really cannot watch that. That's disgusting. Oh my god. We can't lose Thing. I never considered Thing could just die. I truly never once in my entire life thought that was a possibility. Are we kidding? No, again, please! Oh god, she can't face this. Ah. There has to be something else. Like, have we considered, like, a blood transfusion? Or, like, a Band-Aid? Oh, jeez. Oh, She's crying. 
that's her first tear since the frickin' scorpion. Okay, I really cannot. Look at that. Maybe next time steal something a little less conspicuous. Well, where's the fun in that? Look, sometimes you gotta live life for the camp of it all. You don't care how many people die as long as your reputation is safe. I mean, she's not wrong on that front. I miss Enid. According to the British police report, Laura was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. Oh, well then she's not dead. I know you're Laurel Gates. You've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. And so did Mayor Walker, which is why you had to kill him. Girl, does anyone know you're here? Are you really just coming and confronting her with the truth like this? No plan, no nothing. There's only one reason an overqualified psychiatrist like yourself would settle in the inconsequential backwater that is Jericho. It allowed you to crawl through the troubled young mind of outcast. I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. Oh, please. You and I both know I'd be running that place in Girl, a week. Girl, have you realized that, like, she actually has some power here, though? Uh, I'm a little worried. She kind of is playing her cards in a weird way. Time's up, Laurel. I don't think that was the smartest play. And I'm still not convinced Xavier is the monster. You've been spying on me, right? Mm-hmm. I enjoy this one in particular. I just... Feels like you really loved it. I really just think he has visions. I... <laughs> I really... Why am I still on the Xavier's Innocent train here? I don't know. Are you Jean's glasses? Whoa, whoa. Are these stalker images you took This me? man's been framed. <laughs> don't forget your latest edition. He's been framed. Tim Bot's necklace. And or if he actually is the hide, he he doesn't remember his monstrous self. Drop the knife. Down on your knees. Oh my God! No, this man's no. been framed. Right he's been framed. Hey, it's a okay, no. A Appreciate the help, Adam. He's either been framed or he truly doesn't know what the hide self does. Okay, I believe in Xavier's innocence. I should have let Rowan kill you. He has honestly been trying to protect you this whole damn time, Wednesday. It's not him. I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. Someone's gotta look out for you too. I love Enid. Why the sudden change of heart? Because we work. We should. You do work. You do we work. Do. Thing said he missed you. I missed him too. I love him! Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Are we going straight to a romance? I thought we were just gonna let some friends in. I mean, if this is what you want, Wednesday, I'll support you. Watch the dad march in again. No! <laughs> Wait a whole half second! Oh my god! What's wrong? Wednesday! I knew it wasn't Xavier! <laughs> I'm also still not convinced that they know what they're doing. Like, they're, if they're not in control, Principal Weems specifically just said there was a whole debate over whether they're like actual conscious killers or not. And I just feel like if the therapist, if Laurel made the monster, then the kid's not the kid's fault. Like, it wouldn't be Tyler's fault, especially if he doesn't know that it's happening and B can't control it. And meanwhile, like, Xavier truly is just having visions over here. Like, his dad, they said his dad was like the number one psychic or whatever. I just, mmm. This could go anywhere though. We need to get Xavier out of jail, so that's what we have to do. If the therapist ended up actually being Laurel, though, then we just killed her in episode seven. That just feels too easy. It feels too easy on that front. On the bright side, I feel like Tyler is truly honest to God gonna just think she ran away because she showed emotion. I'm not a monster. And if you really thought that I was, why would you risk bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone? You said I was alone. Oh, a friend group, finally. You're coming with us. Oh, wow. We finally got to see Bianca's powers. And your father has been living his life in dread. Never really quite sure whether or not she had passed her condition on to you. Well, geez. Wednesday, what are you doing? <laughs> like, we torture. didn't sign up worry, for this. Mark. Wait, 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 wait. Girly. That's it, I'm out. Sam, honestly, me. Wait. No, I'm done. Yeah, they're not here to torture him. I'm increasingly concerned. I believe the trauma of losing his mother may have left Tyler with deeper psychological scars than I suspected. 
This is the first time he's actually hearing about it because like your son wanted you to go to therapy and you chose not to. Let's test your reflexes. I'm in here! Get away from my son! Oh, no. Drop it! There we go, finally. He came Drop in it. to protect his son. That was like the first act of love. We've got evidence thanks to you and that's why I'm giving you one last pass. Tyler is going to turn on you too. Let's go. I kind of love the concept though that like in this canon, right, Edgar Allan Poe went to this school. Mary Shelley was an alumni. So that would kind of mean that like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was probably an actual story. Like truth. He wrote what he knew. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. Oh, what? What, 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 what? I'd wake up naked, covered in blood. No idea what happened. Okay. But over time, I started to remember. So he's slowly gaining consciousness? Oh, shoot. Well, that's dramatic. You have no idea what's coming. Damn. And you all watch Legally Blonde together. Tyler is the Hyde. And he has framed Xavier. He confessed everything to me. To be fair, though, you you framed him, Wednesday. You, you framed him? You framed Xavier. I wish I could believe you. Well, I mean, you should just look at the mom's medical records. I'm sure your mother will be very disappointed. And so am I. Okay, well, we're not gonna act like you've been super supportive, ma'am. You did gaslight her. I'm not sure how much time we have. Oh, where- how Being distracted the guards and is looping the cameras. Why should he trust you? I know you're not the hide. Yeah, it's a little late. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the actual hide. Girlie, you framed him. I was curious to know if you've drawn anything recently that might shed some light on this you situation. You want my help? Yes. You put him in jail, Wednesday. All you ever do is make things worse. Well, she did play her cards in a weird way. The mark you have left on me is indelible. Anytime I grow nauseous at the sight of a rainbow, I hear a pop song that makes my ears bleed. I'll think of you. Oh, that's the sweetest thing she could have said. We have a school full of gorgons, vampires, and werewolves. I know, and Ready we haven't waiting. really gotten to see any of them. Not this Wednesday, I promise. I want to see these vampires. I'm going to miss our makeup tutorials. And oh. you better keep sending me moisturizing tips. Stay in touch, okay? I love their friendship. Thing and Enid, besties. So we're gonna... Oh. Not hugging is kind of our thing. This time I'm personally escorting you to your train. Right. I have one final favor. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's also feeling like no one knows what to get this poor kid, so they, then they all they know is that he likes bees. So now he's gonna be getting bee-themed gifts for the entirety of his life. There was an explosion of light, and just for a moment, I thought that they weren't black. They were red. Is that house mom? <laughs> you can drop the act, Laurel. Should have known it was you. Oh! Faking your death. Damn. Securing a job at Nevermore. Unlocking a hide. I, at this point, I'm just rolling along with her dropping all of her cards all at once. Can't throw out wild accusations without consequences. She's gonna keep trying, though, until she hits the right one. Which is truly how I've been watching this show, so I get it. But eventually, he willingly became your servant. Ma'am, you... Lord Kimbaugh came close to discovering the truth. Tortured you had to kill her and pin it on David. Kid! Ugh, that's enough. Same. No, 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 no. What they did Tyler, to you. you do not have to do this. If you only hate outcasts, why is he killing normies as well? They're just pawns in a bigger game. Girlie, you realize that makes you a monster, right? Heard enough? Please tell me it's Weems in the background. Oh! Okay, no, I'm here for this. I'm here for it. Did not see that coming. My name is <gasps> Oh my god, did we get a recording device? Please tell me the sheriff's here too. Oh my god, that's the only person that knows the truth. She's going down. Oh, <laughs> all right, she's frothing at the mouth. That's not looking good. Not looking good, I gotta be honest. Oh, that was a fast death. Can we revive her? <laughs> okay, okay, Laurel, okay. It is a full blood moon. I'm okay, I think. Well, maybe y'all should wait till it's not a full blood moon. Why would they confront Miss Thornhill? Because she's behind everything that's happened. She's the bad guy. Bad woman. The way she trusted Eugene, she told Eugene everything. She has learned. She has learned over the course of this season. What about Wednesday? Tyler and Thornhill took her? I love Thing and Enid. Their whole relationship makes me so happy. Go wait by the boat. Yes. Listen to your master and be a good little hide. 
I'm sorry, is he, this poor kid's like legit brain washed, mind controlled here? Joseph Crackstone was a visionary dedicated to protecting normies from outcasts. He murdered like 400 people. Tyler's been collecting all of these body parts to resurrect Crackstone. The one man who nearly succeeded in eradicating the outcast. Oh, God, the Frankenstein book was foreshadowing. The tires of all the squad cars have been slashed. Every damn one of them. All right, well, on our way. You've got a Corella DeVille scooter. That'll get two of you over there. Doing some outcast things for a normie. I just feel like you can't hate the outcasts when you're doing this in your free time. This is literally Frankenstein. That's why they had her give the Frankenstein book. But looking back, it was a little on the nose. Uh. I have summoned you to rid the world of outcasts. Hello. What's that? You can give this to me for Christmas. It's a griddle. I'll put it in the pile. Now burn in the eternal fires of hell. Okay. Oh, he twisted it. Where have you been now? I mean, don't tempt her with a good time here. Nightshades forever. Oh! Seriously? A secret snap too? <laughs> well, the queen of gossip is not gonna let this one go. Oh, she's looking pretty dead, I will say that. Oh! Okay, nothing like a ghost healing <laughs> the future. Does that mean she carries a part of Goody with her forever? <gasps> that is so convenient. I really love the concept of Bianca using her powers, like, to keep people safe after everything she's been through in her past with her family. Oh my god. Enid! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, it's happening! Girl, you're buffing out! I'm so proud of her! Oral said you were dead. I'm feeling much better now. Right, she walked it off. Have we can- Oh, dear! Oh! Enid, come to save her! Oh! That's our girl right there. Enid! Okay, Tyler, if you hurt Enid, I'm gonna hurt you. I need to get back to the oh, we're just gonna leave them having a, a little tiff in the woods? Silence, woman! Be gone, or I will cut thy tongue from thy wretched mouth! Truly don't know what you were expecting. Mm. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <Yeah. laughs> I'm kinda here for that. Yeah, your kid is currently trying to kill our favorite student at Nevermore here. Oh my god, he's trying to behead Enid! Oh, he's literally shooting at his own kid. Is he fully aware of it? Tyler. He is aware. Son, is that really you? Can you imagine if Tyler killed his dad? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he like dying dying? Enid literally wolfed out and helped save Wednesday. See, she didn't need to go to some summer camp that her parents want to send her to. She just needed time to be herself. Howdy, Pilgrim. Oh look, finally, the prophecy. Stay away from her! <laughs> I love Xavier and he came in with the bow and arrow. I totally forgot he did archery. <laughs> Xavier, can you duck? <laughs> She literally took an arrow to the heart for Xavier. Hello. Oh. Goody, are you still in there healing her? Now what the heck? I just feel like you were clearly dabbling in some black magic if you turned a wooden staff into something so strong, A, it can do all this, B, take apart a, a metal sword. And if you're dabbling with sorcery to that extent, you don't get to make fun of outcasts. Dude, look in the mirror. Or don't, cause... school. Unfortunately, it does look like the evidence is disintegrating. The fact that all of the evidence disappears. So this is just gonna be like a little story in the history of Nevermore. Oh, she's still here. You brought a gun to a sword fight. <laughs> 
You're not telling me, Eugene. Ma'am, you're shooting at bees. Can he control them like that? Hummer stick together, right? The found family sticks together. Oh, she's looking a little rough. Where's Wednesday? Her first words are looking for Wednesday. <laughs> Shoot. I hate that I'm tearing up. Come on. Oh, they're hugging. I love them. I love them. I love them. Look at them. It's the most special hug I ever did see. Or should I say, the beginning. Or maybe they'll renew us for season two. It's crazy to me that like the principal is just gone. Watch them pull like a, actually the nightshade had no effect on her because she was like practicing drinking little bits of nightshade and built up an immunity or something. But I am gonna miss Principal Weems. Okay, I guess she's dead dead. Now that classes are canceled for the rest of the semester, you have to come visit me in San Francisco. I can pretty much guarantee fog and drizzle every day. They canceled all the classes? <laughs> okay. Education's canceled, guys. That's very much so like Voldemort came, destroyed everything, and then finals are canceled. I owe you the thank you. Yeah, she was there for you. We're getting that Benson title next year, so don't let killing one supernatural pilgrim get to your head. I love them. Look, Wednesday, I'm just saying I believed in Xavier from the beginning. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> All charges dismissed. Good, because she framed you. Welcome to the 21st century, Adams. Oh my God, don't tell me he got her a cell phone with his number in it. Cause you're gonna need to add Enid's number. My number's in there already. I knew it, of course it is. Are you gonna be back next semester? She has to. Yes, no, maybe. Maybe she'll text you about it. Oh. Now that's ominous. I know the suspense is killing you. <laughs> okay. So I guess Tyler actually was in control. If he was created, against his own will. I don't know why I'm still trying to defend Tyler. I'm always here for a story of found family though. And I love how the ending had her like reconciling with all of her friends. Okay, we had Eugene coming in. Shout out Eugene. Sorry for thinking you should stay in the hospital and stay safe. We had her hug with Enid. We had Xavier giving her the phone. Like we had the conversation with Bianca. I am a little bit worried though about Bianca. I hope her situation with her mom, like I hope that's resolved a little bit. Yeah, season two needs to cover that a little bit more. I really hope if they do have a season two, we get more lore and more world building because like the school is really cool, but there's an entire world I feel like we didn't explore. Like they literally have vampires and they did not cover. And did I miss it? Did they say what the vampires are eating? For as much as they say Jericho hates the outcasts, like are there some that would like go to the hospital and donate blood to a blood bank, blood drive specifically for the Nevermore students so that they know that the vampires have food <laughs> and aren't then feasting on the humans, you know? Mm, there's just there's just a lot more to explore. But I love Wednesday. I loved Enid. I actually really loved all of the characters. I really did. And even though there was definitely spots where I feel like the writing could be a little bit better, especially in terms of a lot of it felt like convenient to the plot instead of more of like a discovery through Wednesday's own actions. I really, really enjoyed this like atmosphere, costuming, I need Enid's entire wardrobe. Um, just the overall spooky vibes make the show so worth it. Also, Jenna Ortega is freaking incredible. I really, really loved it. I loved existing in this world and I hope they get a season two so we can explore the world a little bit more. Anyways, I hope you guys had some fun watching the show with me. Um, if you did, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want more movie and fandom related content and I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.